Hello, my name is Ryan Sinclair, and today, this is Day 17 of Autism Awareness Months. For this month, which is today, we are going to talk about the road of independence. The road to independence. Which means the road to independence. Yes, meaning when you become what? A grown-up. Yeah, exactly, becoming a grown-up. Um, for people on the autism spectrum and their parents, the road to independence really starts... Um, at a much younger age than you would think. Uh, I remember when Ryan reached, I think the age of 16, we started getting information about when he turns 18 and working towards independence, working towards post school uh, year, uh, job placement, living arrangements, things like that. And it's really daunting. It's very overwhelming and scary for all of us. Right. Uh, 16 is when Ryan, uh, takes driver's ed and he did take driver's ed and he did pass simulator um so we thought okay ryan you know maybe he'll drive by the time he's 21 but when i'm a lot or older like in the 50s or 60s i don't know yeah why why don't you want to drive because uh i might crash into things because if you've seen the Alexander movie, I call it. Yes. It's called Alexander in the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day. Right. But I call it the Alexander movie. But you're a real good driver. I've seen you when you drive Mario Kart, when you drive cars. You should have seen the funniest part ever, where yes. Anthony was driving with somebody named Miss Suggs, and he was crashing all up. But we don't know if all of our viewers saw that. So let's get back to okay. independence, okay? Get back on task. So um, he is reluctant to want to drive. And that's okay. And the lesson that my wife and I have learned through all this is you can only work them towards independence if they want to work towards independence. And they will. I mean, Ryan started wanting to be a grown-up, he used to call it, a while ago. Like, Ryan, tell some of the things that you do around our house that grown-ups do, as Ryan calls it. I mow the lawn and I vacuum. Ryan's mowed the lawn now probably for, I think it's been about three years. And he's very good at it. He takes it very seriously. He's very careful. He's very safe. He's also a very good uh, vacuumer. Yes. He picks things up, moves things. He, I remember one time I was downstairs and I could hear all this banging around upstairs. He had moved his bed. He moved when he vacuumed in his room. He got all that dust out. Yeah. And um, it's something that the big thing is he takes pride in it. He takes pride in mattering and contributing. Um, he's proud of these achievements. My wife has done a wonderful job, including him in cooking, in, per in particular baking, right? What kinds of things have you baked over the years? Well, I've made things for dessert and for dinner. Mm -hmm. You made mac and cheese one time, yeah, right? Yeah, I made you, mac and cheese. From Miss Gore's class, you learned. You know Miss Gore from Steiner. Yep. She helped him a lot, teaching him about cooking. Of course. And Ryan's very careful with measurements. Uh, people with autism tend to like to do things exactly or a specific way, uh, which makes them really good candidates for jobs. They aren't going to be uh, the type of person that's going to um, cut corners or, or kind of veer from the course. If they have a series of steps to follow, they'll follow them very well. You watch Ryan when, or I watch Ryan when I'm mowing the lawn. I start by doing the edges, some of the edges where there are rocks and things. He's watching me, and I know there's going to come a point soon where he's going to say, I got it, Dad. Because when he did start mowing, I would give him like a little stretch to mow. But then I noticed he would do a little more each time, and he would do it the same way that I did it because he was watching and he wanted to do it. He liked the pattern. Um, sometimes he's doing a pattern that's not exact rows when I'm watching him. I'm like, what's he doing? And I'm not sure if he's doing a figure eight or a crisscross, but he'll come back and get that one spot that I saw that he didn't get. Um, so the beginnings of the road towards independence involve everything from dressing himself in the morning Right? right? Brushing his teeth in the morning. When do we start that? Well, when they're ready. And I think what you'll see, as what we saw, is there's not going to be resistance to it. I think with uh, a more uh, a typical developing child, there might be resistance to doing chores. Our experience with Ryan is Ryan loves doing different things. Uh, he might, you know, say, in a minute, when we call him to set the table or yeah, something. I was trying to do something. In some. a minute. Ryan. I was trying right. to do right. something. I'm just kidding. Uh, we're taping earlier in the day today, right at the end of a very long day of academics. Yeah. So he might be a little of, bit grouchy. Of course. Just okay. a little bit. Okay. Yes. Uh, but that road to independence definitely starts uh, at a very young age, and it's a little bit at a time. 
For example, one of the things Ryan does really well with his mother on Sundays is... Shopping. Yes. So what she would do is give him a couple items and give him his own list and say, Ryan, go get that, go get that. And then what she started doing, because it's a weekly thing, is she would give him stuff that she knew wasn't at this supermarket, maybe was at the other supermarket, but Ryan would ask somebody for help on his own. He would figure it out. Sometimes he has to make choices. <coughs> if something isn't there, he makes a decision on his own. And what we found is the more responsibility we give him, the higher up he steps and he enjoys it and he's proud of it. And he'll come home saying, guess what, dad? They didn't have this, but I got that. Um, he's very conscientious of what we have in the house. So when it's time to go shopping, he'll remember very well what we're out of wild cherry or we're out of waffles, right? Or we're out of, what else do you keep track of? I don't know, chewies? Yeah, chewies, right? Definitely. Yeah. Uh-huh. So uh, he's a very good helper, very good conscientious person, but it's taken a long time, a little bit at a time, a little bit more, a little bit more working towards independence. Structure in the beginning, set small goals, but then eventually when they go to the grocery store, my wife makes two lists and she gives Ryan his own cart. She takes her cart and off they go. Now, during the pandemic, you know, our, our shopping has definitely become more complicated and Ryan hasn't been going just because only one person should go at a time and mom has missed him, right? Right. She definitely comes back and goes, it's so much easier when I have that second man there. That's helping me. Out. Yes, that's you. Anything else you do independently besides, let's see, get dressed, shower, brush your teeth, um, mow the lawn. What else do I do? Uh, oh, you take out the garbage, Yeah, I take right? out the garbage. The garbage cans, the recyclable cans, right? Right. So the goal, the hope is, what's that? Oh, unloads the dishwasher, loads Set and unloads the, the dishwasher, sets the table. Absolutely. Yep, all of these things that are working towards, hopefully at some point, Puts his clean laundry away. You're very good at that. Yeah. Yep. Very good. Thank you. Thanks, Mom, from the other room. You're okay, anything else? What else do I do? I don't know. Well, um... It's quite a bit. What's something else I do that? Sometimes you clean your glasses. Uh, yeah. You do clean your when glasses. When I have smudges on it. Oh, when we have company, you're always good at cleaning up, right? Putting things away. And whenever I have company come over... I have lots of toys and videos I remove. Exactly, put you put away and clean up very well. And see the pride that you see, can see it in his face. That's how I yes. take care of our house. Exactly. He's proud of that. He's a part yeah. of it. And he says, see, because I'm a grown-up. And that's what we want. And that starts young. So give them little roles, little bits of responsibility. Um, other family members, extended family members, if we're going to a holiday gathering, they might have something that they need help with, like Aunt Lisa or Aunt Beth, right? Yeah, they I ask you. Them most yes, of the you times. have. They give you a job. Yeah, uh, like you, at Pierce's birthday party. What oh, did you yeah. do with Aunt Beth? I helped with the mystery game. Exactly. She was a match to me one time. Yeah, you're wearing the same Scooby Doo yeah. shirt, right? We got a picture. So it was a theme finder. A theme party, and Ryan had a job there that he he did, and he did very well. And what did you cook with Aunt Lisa that time? What was she you helping her prepare? Probably macaroni. Mm -hmm. Was the macaroni and cheese? I think so. Cheese? I think so. Maybe. It was some kind of activity that as soon as you got there, Ryan helped me out with this job and you loved it. I right? sure do yes. love helping my family. Yeah. All right. So that's it for today. Day 17. Yep. Right. Everybody. Hoping to see when the coronavirus ends so I can get together with my family and help out. Yes. That's his favorite thing yeah. to do. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.